Welcome to the bubble paper tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is gather your materials. You will need paper, pencil for writing your name, a shallow container, water, dish soap, liquid watercolor paint or food color, straws, and a cleanup sponge and paper towels. We will be using liquid watercolor paint in this tutorial. Andre, Damien, and Mackenzie have set up their work area. Mackenzie is going to pour a little bit of water into her shallow container. The artists are now adding liquid watercolor paint into their water. They ended up adding quite a bit of paint and rather than just using the paint from the containers, they poured some paint in from the bottles. If you add more paint, you are going to have a darker bubble paper. If you add less, you will have lighter bubble paper. Here we can see that the artists are closing the paint, putting the lids on straight and tight. They are then using sponges, wringing them out over the sink, and cleaning up their work area as they go. This way, they will have a nice clean work area throughout the process and they will have less to clean at the end. It's important to have a dry work area since you are using paper. The next thing that you will add to this concoction is dish soap. You really only need a little bit and you can always add more later. If you add too much dish soap, you are going to have greasy paper. You can stir all of the ingredients together. Make sure that your name is on all of your papers along with your class code. If you do not write your name in class code, you will not get your paper back. Good job, Andre from M4. I will be able to put Andre's paper in his class folder when it is dry since he wrote his name and his class code. Here comes the fun part. Now you get to blow bubbles. Make sure you do not suck. If you drink this soapy paint water mixture, you are going to be very unhappy and you're going to have a very colorful mouth. Damien is showing you how he's going to place the paper on top of the bubbles just lightly and he's going to get a bubble print as the bubbles pop. I didn't show it but they needed to add more paint to their concoction because at first it was very light and you could barely see the bubbles. So they have added a little bit more paint and they're blowing their bubbles and they're printing. And they're making sure that they're moving the paper around as they do this because you don't just want one little circle on your paper. You want the bubble print all over this beautiful piece of paper that you're creating. We found that it is actually better not to put the paper all the way down on the container because then what you're going to get is you're going to get a circle. Okay, You're going to get a ring from the container. So don't place the paper all the way down. Just lightly press the paper onto the bubbles without touching the plastic container. Okay, here we can see that Andre turned into Alan. Actually, Andre went home and Alan joined us. And Alan is showing you how he layered violet and blue. And he's very happy with his amazing piece of paper. Mackenzie noticed that her bubble solution wasn't working as well anymore, so she's problem solving and she's adding some more bubbles, some more soap, some more water, some more paint, and she just needs to problem solve and figure out the right concoction to get the best result. So you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to experiment and figure it out. Sometimes your paper might be so awesome that it starts dancing. Hey! I'll blow it. Dude, that's just one big one. 
I'm beast, Damien. Look at that. Dude. Blow yours, Damien. If you're working in a group, you can work cooperatively. So one person can blow bubbles and another person can print. Now, the very last thing you are going to do is put away all of your materials. So you're going to put all of your bubble papers on the dry rack, making sure your name and class code are on them if you want them back. You're going to actually remove everything from the table and put it away before you get a sponge. You're going to clean off the table and leave it better than you found it. This concludes the bubble paper making tutorial. Thank you to Andre, Damien, Mackenzie, and Alan for showing us how to make bubble paper. Have fun!